We'll leave the heavy-duty math and physics to the scientists for now. What we need to know about electricity is how to keep it from hurting us. Let's start with a look at the basic equation that explains how electricity works and its potential to harm us. There are three properties that can be found in any electrical circuit, voltage, current, and resistance. Understanding how these forces work can help us stay safe on the job. Let's take a closer look. The term voltage basically refers to how much push an electric current has. If an electrical circuit were a plumbing system, voltage would be the amount of water pressure in the tank. Most home electrical systems operate at 120 volts. In the workplace, you may encounter equipment and electrical distribution systems running at much higher voltages. Electricity-related fatalities often involve overhead power lines, as these can carry 35,000 volts or more. Higher voltage usually means higher danger. However, there are other factors that play an important role in how electricity works. Current refers to the flow of charge through a wire or other conductor. In our plumbing example, current would be like the flow rate of the water through the pipe. There's an old saying that it's the current that kills, and this is largely true. Current is measured in amps. Pretty much any power distribution system you're likely to run into has more than enough current to be deadly. It's how current relates to the other factors in the equation that makes some situations more dangerous than others. Note that the path that the current takes through your body is a very important factor in how harmful the shock is. Electrocutions often result when current follows a path through the heart. Some materials conduct electricity very well, while others strongly resist its flow. In the plumbing comparison, resistance would be like the size of the pipe. The larger the pipe, the less resistance there is, allowing more water to flow through. We use materials with high resistance, like rubber or glass, to create an insulating barrier that protects us from electricity. This is also why electricians wear personal protective equipment like rubber gloves and boots when performing operations that could put them at risk of coming in contact with electric current. In a simple electrical circuit, current flows from a power source to whatever we're powering and back again. Where we get into trouble is when our bodies accidentally become part of this circuit. Another way we can get into trouble is by providing electricity with an easier path to follow than the one that it's already on. Because the Earth does a great job of absorbing electric charge, we must be careful to avoid using our bodies to create a new path through which electric current can flow directly into the ground. Now that you're an electrical Einstein, let's see if